Once upon a time, in a world not entirely unlike our own, but steeped in magic and wonder, there lived a young boy named Finn Evergreen. Finn was no ordinary boy. His bright green eyes held a glimmer of curiosity that outshone all the stars in the sky, and his heart brimmed with courage that belied his tender age. Finn lived in a cozy cottage on the edge of the Whispering Woods, a forest so named because the leaves of its ancient trees whispered secrets to those who listened closely. Every day, Finn would wander into the woods, led by the tantalizing stories whispered by the leaves. He often ventured deeper than anyone in his village dared to go, for he had a gift, a gift that connected him to the heart of the forest. One sunny morning, as Finn strolled through the woods, he noticed a gentle melody wafting through the air. It was the sweetest, most enchanting song he had ever heard. Following the song, he came upon a small clearing bathed in dappled sunlight. There, perched on a mossy rock, was a little yellow bird with feathers that shimmered like spun gold. Finn approached slowly, not wanting to startle the delicate creature. The bird continued its song, a hauntingly beautiful tune that seemed to fill the entire forest with magic. As he drew closer, Finn noticed something amiss. The bird's leg was ensnared in a tangle of thorns. With gentle hands, Finn carefully untangled the thorns and freed the little bird. It hopped onto his outstretched finger, and he could feel its tiny heart fluttering with gratitude. The bird gazed at him with bright, intelligent eyes, as if it could see straight into his soul. You're a special bird, aren't you? Finn whispered, and the bird twittered in response, as if it understood every word. Finn decided to name the bird Sunny for its golden plumage and sunny disposition. From that moment on, they were inseparable companions. Sunny perched on Finn's shoulder as he explored the whispering woods, and together they embarked on countless adventures. One day, Finn and Sunny ventured deeper into the forest than ever before. The air grew cooler, and the trees taller and more ancient. The whispers of the leaves grew louder and more insistent, guiding them toward a hidden glen bathed in a soft, otherworldly glow. In the heart of the glen stood a magnificent tree, its trunk as wide as a house and its branches stretching high into the sky. At its base, nestled in a bed of luminous flowers, was a mystical pool that shimmered with colors unseen in the mortal world. It was said that this was the tree of wishes, and those who bathed in its pool would be granted a single wish. Finn knew he had to make a wish, for he longed to repay the magic of the forest for all the wonder and joy it had brought into his life. He dipped his fingers into the pool, and a sensation of pure enchantment washed over him. With a voice as clear as a crystal bell, Finn made his wish, I wish to protect this magical forest and all its wondrous creatures. As the words left his lips, a gentle breeze rustled the leaves, and the pool's waters glowed even brighter. Finn felt a surge of newfound power within him, a connection to the very heart of the Whispering Woods. From that day forward, Finn became the guardian of the magical forest, ensuring that its secrets remained safe and that its wonders continued to thrive. Sunny, his loyal friend, became his constant companion in these adventures, serving as a guide to the world of birds and animals that inhabited the woods. Finn's first adventure, saving a little yellow bird in the whispering woods, had set him on a path of magic and destiny. His heart brimmed with courage, his eyes sparkled with curiosity, and he was ready to face any challenge that awaited him in the enchanted realm he now called home. 
And so, the adventures of Finn and Sunny continued, with each day bringing new wonders and mysteries in the magical forest, as they protected and nurtured the precious secrets of the Whispering Woods for generations to come.